In this tutorial, we're going to talk about some ways that you can add some enhancements to any video that you've uploaded to YouTube, uh, some interesting and uh, very neat features that you can do uh, to your video to enhance it. So I'm looking at a video that we have up on uh, my YouTube site, and it's called Bird Fight. This is just simply a, a short little 38 second video that we shot from our kitchen window uh, last year during one of the uh, the snow days and uh, we have a woodpecker that is fighting for its turf and kind of fending off uh, some of the birds around the bird feeder and we taped it and it was just kind of a little funny video um, just kind of real simple it was just kind of protecting itself here so basically it's about 38 seconds of this woodpecker um, trying to protect the suet on the bird feeder. So we thought it was kind of interesting. We put it up on YouTube, uh, tweeted it out, and it's got about 30 views or so. So what I want to do is I want to do a little bit of enhancement to this video. I'm going to click on enhancements right below the video, and we'll have a couple different options here that pop up. It's going to automatically play. I'm going to pause it real quick here. Um, a neat feature on this is you see the original and the preview window, and um, you can kind of slide this here and as you do different things to the video you can kind of compare what it looks like compared to the original. So I'm just going to leave it in the middle for now but if you look on the right hand side here you have quick fixes, filters, and then special effects. So let's look real quick at the uh, quick fixes. You can do an auto fix which is just going to kind of um, automatically change the lighting and the color a little bit. You can mess with the fill lighting, saturation lighting, um, you can do some things with slow motion if you want to make it up to eight times slower. You can trim parts of the video. Um, if you want to, you can rotate it left or right. Over here, you have contrast and color temperature and stabilize. So if I'm playing the video here, um, I'm just going to go ahead and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stabilize it. So we can look at the preview and kind of compare what's happening here. So obviously on the preview, it's going to be a lot steadier than what it was with the original. You can tell the movement there on the left hand side. So that's kind of a neat feature if you have a video that has kind of a little bit of uh, shakiness to it. This was not shot with a tripod. This was just me holding it with my hand uh, in the kitchen window. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make that for the entire video. Alright. Um, if I want to I could make it uh, very slow-mo so it was 38 seconds and now it's going to be about 2 minutes and 34 seconds long so if I preview it here as I'm playing it so again this is four times slow motion you can go up to eight times slow motion uh, I don't have to rotate it so I'm not going to do that at this point but I'll leave it at slow-mo so I'm going to go ahead and pause that um, filters if you click on filters you have a bunch of the same filters you have for some of the other editing features in YouTube um, and I'll tell you as you scroll over uh, modern pop you can make it look like punk 1960s um, you could go up here and you have the options of making it sepia um, little HDR ish effect um, I'm not gonna apply any of those right now and then special effects now this one's kind of interesting YouTube will automatically blur all the faces of individuals um, within the video. So uh, maybe you have a video and you don't want people to be identified. You could go ahead and hit apply. I won't do it to this one. I don't think we need to protect the identity of any of the uh, the birds at the bird feeder. Um, but that's something that you might want to try if you have a video and you want to get the video out but not have the people be uh, recognizable. So those are just a couple things that you can do as far as uh, some real simple enhancements. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and uh, you can always revert back to the original if you select that. One other thing here too is you can select save as. So just like when you're working on a Word document or anything else, if I want to keep the original video, so I want to keep the bird fight video, but I want to uh, make another copy of it, I can go save as and then once I go to save as it's going to make it a copy of bird fight so now if I wanted to go into this I could edit and once I go into edit I could go ahead I could change the title so I'm going to